Well, hello again. Got an interesting question um, last day or two uh, regarding this particular roof. Uh, the requirement is to do a standing sea metal roof on the lower half. And whilst it doesn't look all that complicated from here, if we go back to the, uh, the uh, plan view, uh, you'll see that it's actually a bit ugly in there. And that was the requirement for our customer to do a takeoff for standing seam metal for this particular area of the roof. It looks pretty awful, but in fact it's quite simple. Uh, the, all the tools you need are in the software, and it's just a matter of learning what they do. So the first thing we're going to do is just get ourselves to position where we get it. We're going to capture the image. And then we're going to move the PDF document to another screen. Open up our roof wizard, track outline, and use the enable underlay button, paste from clipboard. We're going to save this as Fred's job, only because Fred's a nice bloke, and we'll save that away. So there's our image underlay, and we're going to trace that. And the image is of very good quality, so that helps us a great deal. When we're looking at the PDF document, we, um, we verified the overall width of this thing because as it's come in, we don't know what size it is. So we use our scale rotate button. We're going to measure the distance from one side to the other. So get the center of the line, that's the most precise. And all the way to the other side of the building, and center of the line, bang. So when I was looking at the PDF, the overall uh, width of the building is 62 foot 3 so we just type 62 foot 3 in that and then we select the scale button right oh so it's now the full size so we can start digitizing this thing and, um, and ignore the walls I found it's easier in this sort of situation to ignore the walls um, that's especially relevant given that um, the wall ducks in here and it's a different overhang here to here and yeah, it's all too hard so we'll focus on the overhang um, uh, all the way to the edge of the panels so we'll select digitize and because the drawing is such good quality plus or minus one inch is very reasonable and I'm going to start from just up here somewhere lining up with my cursor and come down to the center of the line over here as quickly as I can to save a bit of time but, uh, zooming in and out scrolling with my mouse wheel we get over to that corner here there now this is a bit of a problem for us you see it wants to lock to 45 because that's what we told it to we hold down the control key we can go off grid okay, and control left click and that's got that line exactly right over here to the center of that line and center of that line now I'm primarily focused on the process here uh, as much as uh, I just want to show you oops that's probably not as accurate now if you're not as accurate as you want to be just right click and then select step back and it'll allow you to redigitize and that's much better isn't it it's, it was only an inch but one thing you can't do with metal panels is stretch them so uh, uh, you are better to be an inch longer than an inch short that's for sure Oh, that's been my, my motto for a long time, so it works for me. Righto, let's get up to here, uh, about there. And you see, it's working out quite nicely, isn't it? And middle button snap there, across to somewhere in the middle. Now, we really don't know what happens in here, so we'll just go up to there, and we're going to go right click and close square. So that's our outline. Now, the this job has multiple pictures. There's a three over here is an 812 there 712 there 512 there goodness gracious so what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a 612 which is the this one in the middle I don't know why I picked that it just felt good and the e-fight is whatever the e-fight is uh, let's say it was 10 feet and we hit OK and now we're going to do a vertical plane over there and that will draw everything towards it the vertical plane continue and there we've got the roof now, some of it looks okay, but, but most of it doesn't, and that's because all the roof pictures are incorrect. So the first thing we'll do, we'll just start over here, it's as good a place as any. Now, on my other screen, I have this 
PDF document in large scale so I can read the dimensions a little easier than I can on here and that's a useful way to work so I go to modify roof change pitch select the first plane to change and that's that one and instead of 612 that one is 812 and then this one is four and a quarter 4.25 and you'll know you're starting to get it right when the lines line up. Don't worry about this roof going um, crazy across there, it's not a problem, but so long as we get the adjoining planes the correct pitch. So that one is a 3.5 in 12. See, the lines are lining up. Okay, this one is also 3.5, uh, is it right? Yep, 3.5 in 12. 3.2. 3.5, yep. yep, and this one, same, 3.5, and then this fella, just f to be contrary, 3.75, okay, and this one is, six, oh, it's already 6.12, okay, further so I can see more of it. Uh, yeah, that one's a 612, so we'll leave him at 612. Uh, that one should already be 612, yep. Now I'll come up here and start on these ones. Uh, this one is a 7.5 in 12. And this one is 8 in 12. And see, that one lines up, but this one doesn't uh, bother. Okay, so we've but these are 512, so 512 to 812, that'll probably work. So that one, that one, and that one. Uh, we'll change that to 512. Okay. Wow, that's looking pretty cool, eh? So that all sort of lines up. Now all we have to do is get rid of all this stuff over here we don't want. So we go to modify roof cutout, we're going to digitize the cutout. We're going to use the visible planes and we're going to delete the internal pieces. So we hit OK. We're going to snap to the nearest one inch. That's been working for us. And I'm going to start out here somewhere. Come into here, into there, and there. And you can see what I'm doing now. So just working your way around what would be typically a over roof to wall flashing or apron flashing depending on what country you're in. And there. And there. And there. And uh, let's see. We just come out of here. Um, from there we kind of go up to there because we're outside the building and then close square from there so we'll get everything inside that area cut out yes and can I say presto there it is now that looked pretty ugly to start with it looked impossible to do but actually is quite simple use the functions of the software and it all works just fine and if we turn off what's underlying uh, no hide the image You'll see that that looks pretty cool, and I'm not sure what panel we had on it, but I'm going to put some panels on it just for fun. 16 inch sand, it seems sounds good. Color to be advised, hit OK, and OK, and there's our cutting list for that roof. Done. Well, that's it. Have fun. Practice uh, anything like that you get. If you have any other questions, uh, drop us a line at any time, and we'll uh, we'll knock up an, a, a, uh, an instructional video for you and help you work out what to do. Have a great day. Stay safe. Bye for now.